Begin to describe how cool today was. So today was the first day of the in-person PASM workshop. So for the past three weeks, I've been in a course called PASM or Principles of Aviation and Space Medicine. And in this course, it consists of three weeks of didactics or virtual lectures where we learn everything about aerospace medicine and physiology, the business side of things, the medicine side of things, we had a commercial space day where we learned about a bunch of new commercial space companies and what they're up to. But the final week is an in-person workshop where we fly into Houston and we get to do a whole bunch of really cool activities at Johnson Space Center, at NBL, or the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory. And so today was the first day of the in-person workshop and I was just so hyped about everything that happened today. We did hypobaric training at 25,000 feet, we took off our oxygen masks and simulated a hypoxia environment. <laughs> it lasted about five minutes and I think I would lasted like four minutes long. And we had these like tests that we filled out. Um, wait, let me go get my test real quick. I gotta show you this. So I don't know if you can see here, it probably doesn't look that good on the camera, but I couldn't even write my signature or do basic math problems at 25,000 feet with uh, no supplemental oxygen. <laughs> Yeah, so that was wild and we got a sick tour of the NBL and there were even a couple of astronauts who were finishing up their EVA practice at the NBL pool and so that was amazing to see. We got to see them actually taking off their suits and taking off their helmets and all of my course mates are fantastic by the way. They're really cool people. They're super welcoming. Everyone's really smart. It's a mixture of fourth year medical students, current residents and attending physicians all with the same love of aerospace medicine. I kind of want to document my experience each day of this um, in-person workshop at JSC. Um, I don't know how much I can film, but I'll uh, show you the cool stuff that I'm able to get. And uh, I'm excited for tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> guys day two I've got my NBL shirt on got this swag yesterday long sleeve cotton shirt for the hyperbaric diets we have to bring our own lunch so today I got a tout jour red bean sandwich and two onigiris from H Mart Day two of PASM, another hype freaking day. Today in the morning, we first learned about EVAs or extravehicular activities. And we had one of the um, NASA NBL scientists give a fantastic series of talks about EVA operations, what tools are being used for EVAs, how does training work, what the suit looks like, and a bunch of really cool details about how the suit is made and the different functions of the suit and how astronauts communicate with mission control um, during EVAs. And we got to see like all of this like hands-on, like a bunch of the tools, we got to fit on the gloves. Um, it's, it's actually really hard to like just use tools in the gloves because they're so tight and restricting with your hand motions. Um, it was just crazy to see in person. And we got to see two of the suits, the EMUs, one was the American one, and the other one is the Orlan or the Russian Soviet one. Uh, both are really cool. Design-wise, they're pretty similar with some key differences. So it was cool to see like the Russian side of things versus the American side of things, especially because Yachuchutruski. <laughs> but yeah, and then afterwards we had a hyperbaric chamber testing. So they sent us into the hyperbaric chambers and brought us down to about 30 feet of seawater the pressure that's equivalent to that. And for a hyperbaric setting, 
we were just breathing normal air. And generally, if you don't know much about what hyperbarics are, you're, for patients at least, you're increasing the pressure and breathing 100% oxygen so that you have more oxygen delivery to your tissues. And that can be used for a variety of things like an infection, for example, or for wound healing. Like if you have a diabetic foot ulcer, you can use hyperbaric medicine and hyperbaric oxygen therapy to treat that and deliver more oxygen to those um, tissues that have a lot of inflammation. Now mainly what they're using um, hyperbaric chambers at at JSC and in general is for decompression sickness. So because the astronauts are training um, in a pool at the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory at about 40 feet, 38 feet um, below the surface of the water, there is a risk of decompression sickness when they come back up and for the personnel and crew members that are also helping out. So for that reason, they have a hyperbaric chamber in case they need to treat any decompression sickness or something really serious like an arterial gas embolism. But yeah, today was super cool. It was my first time actually going down to depth in a hyperbaric chamber. Um, so that was awesome. Plans for the rest of the evening are to go to like this boardwalk or something. We've been trying to explore Houston and the area around Johnson Space Center. So it's been a blast hanging out with everyone that's a part of this course. So I'm excited for tonight and tomorrow should be a tour and activities at the Johnson Space Center. So, day three of PASM, it just keeps getting better and better. I think that we peaked one day, but then my mind is just blown the next. So today was basically an entire day at the Johnson Space Center. And we started off with a couple of tours and some lectures about the medical capabilities on the ISS, like what kind of tools they have, everything from analyzing CO2 and O2, to antibiotics and cleaning regimens they have. So after those initial lectures, we then went to the Mission Control Center, which was an unreal experience. We saw the flight surgeon desk, we saw live feeds from the ISS, and it was just surreal being there and see everything actually operate live. And then afterwards, we were in for a real treat. We went to Building 9 at Johnson Space Center, and that's where they house the actual inside replicas of all the modules of the ISS and we just saw so much crazy stuff there um, it was incredible I can't even describe the feelings I had walking through that building you know we saw the Orion capsule we saw Starliner we saw Boeing's new module um, we saw a bunch of the ISS bays and we got a peek inside some of them which was really cool to see we saw an old Soyuz module too, took a couple of pictures there for the relatives. 
but overall today was just an incredible experience.